G'day, Daniel Monday back here again with another fitness information. It's the first video I've posted in a while, so this one, um, it's, it's going to be a good one. I saw an article uh, a few weeks ago in the Sunday paper, there's an article about coconut oil, um, you know, the pros and cons, and, and should you have it, should you not. And to be honest, it is fantastic. I've been having coconut oil for a little while now. Um, I've been telling clients to get on board with it. I added in my coffee, added in my tea for a bit of extra health kick. Uh, plus a bit of taste, you know, coconut's got that nice little, you know, holiday taste. It makes you feel like you're on some place, you know, a nice beach in Hawaii, you know, you know having a nice coconut. But the benefits are fantastic. Boost your, it can help boost your metabolism. It's fantastic for fat loss as a result. Um, it can help um, as a great um, as a great health, um, it boosts your health. So if you've got a cold or you're a bit run down or whatever, it can help boost that. Basically, the list of coconut oil, it's as long as your arm. Um, and this article was saying there was, you know, there was a health foundation on there um, who, if you're Australian, you'll be able to work out who it is in a, in a minute, but uh, I don't want to uh, publicly bag them to cover my own backside. But um, it's the same organisation that gives a tick to certain foods and, you know, that, you know, this food's good or this food's a healthier version. They do it for pizza and pies and sausage rolls and all this fast food rubbish. They even had a section at McDonald's where you can have their food, their, health, their so-called healthier food. But they think coconut is bad because of the saturated fat and they advise against coconut oil. Now, this is the biggest hypocrisy there is because they don't get paid. So, of course, they're not going to recommend that. You have to buy their recommendation. You gotta pay the cash. It's a very expensive process you gotta go through to get your food on there. Even if it's a load of rubbish and it's total processed food, it can make the tick as, you know, it can get the uh, it can make the cut as being healthy. So, but something like this where there's no commission in it for them, all of a sudden it's a no go. Double standard. So don't listen to what they say. The health. Get on the coconut oil. I have a teaspoon. Add it in uh, into my coffee and my tea when I do have that each day. And it is fantastic. You know, add it to your stir fries. You can cook with it. You can bake with it. Okay, it's fantastic way just to kick that, give that little boost to your, uh, you know, to your training, and also to your results. So that's short and sweet for this week. Daniel Monday, over and out. Get on the coconut oil. Yeah. By the way, you can buy from like a health food store. Um, I've sometimes seen it in the health food section of Woolies, but um, yeah, you can also buy it in your health food, local health food store. Go and buy it. Um, it is fantastic to get on. It's also good if you have like rashes and so forth. You can put it on your skin. I've, um, you know, I've had a bit of irritation on my wrist, and um, I've used that, and it definitely gets it quicker than any sort of cream would. Get on it over and out.